name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my unboxing of my Sew Heli Jane box, which arrived at the weekend. Very excited about the contents this month. Absolutely love the fabric. And I know already what I'm going to turn it into and I'm really excited about what I'm going to turn it into. Before we dive into the box this month, um, I thought I'd let you know what I'm wearing. And I am wearing a new pattern by Tilly and the Buttons, um, which I have just fallen in love with. And I've seen quite a few versions of the pattern already. Um, it is the Tilly and the Buttons SD Coord set. So I've sewn up a top in this gorgeous, crinkly, I want to say seersucker fabric that I got from Semi Sunshine. It's an uh, pigeon wishes fabric and I've sewn the waist length top and then I've just got it on with a pair of shorts in this gorgeous um, stone wash denim I think it was described as from pound fabrics and I've just got shorts on I've got patch pockets and um, I'll stand up so you can see but they are very short shorts my knees are just here and then I've just got the top tucked in keeping myself nice and cool because it's very warm in London at the moment. So on to the lovely classic box, which is what I subscribe to. So I've been subscribing to the boxes for years and years and years, and I absolutely love getting my classic box every month. I get very excited about what the fabric is inside. Rarely do I have a box where I don't love the fabric, and if I'm not too keen on the fabric, usually I can turn it into something for somebody else. Um, quite often what I find is Lola or Ruby absolutely love the fabric when I'm not too keen on it. So the Roses fabric, I can't remember if that was last month or the month before, um, I wasn't too keen on it because of that blue colourway, it's not a colour that I'm drawn to. Um, Lola absolutely loved it, so it's going to be turned into a little crop top and skirt for her, which she's very excited about. Um, so I subscribe to the Classic Box, which is £40 a month. Um, within that you get um, a magazine, a sweet treat, Gutterman thread, haberdashery item, fat quarters and two and a half metres of fabric. There's the luxury box where you get more fabric and you get a pattern and all the other things, which is £70 a month. You get three and a half metres of fabric and a pattern. And then there's the mini box where you only get a metre of fabric, um, less fat quarters, and that is £25 a month. I find the classic box is perfect for me. Two and a half, two and a half metres is usually enough for what I want to turn it into. So the box always comes wrapped in beautiful tissue and then you always get a magazine which describes what the box theme is and this month it is adventure so june 2023 is adventure you always get a, a little hello from Haley where she talks about what's in the boxes she also talks about where the inspiration came from then you also get lots and lots of information in the magazine which i'm going to share a few things from the magazine but i won't do all of it but Hayley um, also lets you know what's in the luxury box and I don't subscribe to the luxury box so I always like reading what they get. So in the luxury box the fabric this month is a stunning cotton lawn from Lady McElroy called Mountain Grandeur. A colourful print featuring mountains, forests, cabins and cars. Um, and then the pattern that they've paired it with is the Fleetwood frock dress pattern from So Different. Everything you need in a summer dress including pockets. I'll put a picture in of that pattern. I'm not familiar with that pattern, but in the classic and the mini boxes, we get the same um, viscose fabric, which is inspired by Aztec prints. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Then there's make of the month and the make of the month this month is Cordelia, who is sewing underscore Cinderella. And she has made a gorgeous jumpsuit using the double gauze fabric with watermelons all over it. Absolutely beautiful. I love that puff sleeve. It's gorgeous. Then we've got um, a article by Tamlin um, with some ideas for travel companions. So it says whether you're jetting off for some summer sun, enjoying a sophisticated city break or a camping trip with all the family, I found some amazing sewing patterns that will be the perfect travel companion. So there's a bucket hat pattern. I'm really enjoying sewing up the Waves and Wild Sandcastle bucket hat. And um, that's a free pattern. There's also the City Set bag collection from Sew Over It. And I've got plans to sew up the bum bag. Um, and then the Voyage travel bag and vanity case by Ikati. Which looks like a really cute little um, sort of little bag that with a, with a zip at the top. Then there's the Road Trip case by Noodle Head. So it says the perfect case to help you get organised and take wherever you go. Um, it looks like it's got lots of little like compartments. Um, there's a see-through vinyl pocket to quickly see what you've got. 
portable and easy to customize as well and it's got a handle so it can be hung up and then there's a DIY travel pillow by Dutch label shop as well which is a really great idea um, to sew up a travel pillow so that's a really great little feature then we've got three boxes three makes so Esther used the Lady McElroy cotton lawn and she's made a pair of summery trousers using the McCall's 7757 and that fabric is absolutely gorgeous those trousers look great then there is the classic and the mini box so Gemma has used the classic box to make a Tammy handmade Ria dress she looks lovely and she's talked about because I made it a few weeks ago I think it was and I found it was far too low um, and Gemma has talked about needing to shorten the straps um, because it was very low on her as well um, so I found the same when I was sewing up the Ria dress and then Laura got the mini box and she's used it to sew up some really cute shorts using the Megan Nielsen flint pattern, which is a really great shorts pattern. The Fat Quarter Project is a passport cover, which is a great little idea um, to brighten up your passport. Then we've got the Makers Gallery, which I find is really inspirational. I, I love looking at what people have used their previous boxes fabrics for. Quite often you get lots of little ideas. So we've got Sally French Seams, who has um, use the Ellie and Mac wrapped in love dress um, using the cherry cotton jersey from April's classic box and it looks really great. Then we've got Lorraine um, has made the McCall's M8193 using the classic box um, rose fabric that I was talking about, the blue sort of rose fabric that looks like a really lovely sundress. Then Kim Dot Maddox has been teaching the next generation of sewing superstars and they've been sewing up some really cute like turtles using fat quarters. They look adorable. Then we've got Made by Madeline who has sewn up the Heyday Dungle. Again using that floral rose um, cotton poplin from the classic box a few months ago. And then Lorraine has used fat quarters to sew up a peg bag as well as a gift for somebody, which is a great idea. Then we've got Profile Tracy, who is the So Hilly James subscriber. So I'm looking forward to reading um, that interview a little bit later. And then we've got Pattern Picks by The Fold Line. So there's a couple of patterns they recommended. The Mabel Top and Dress by Tilly and the Buttons. The Donny Shirt by Friday Pattern Company. Um, I really love the Donny Shirt on loads of people, but it's just not my sort of pattern. I don't really sew shirts for myself and I don't really reach for shirts. I've got a couple of shirts that I sewed up a couple of years ago. Um, using the, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but I don't reach for them often enough. Um, so I've given that pattern a miss, but I've seen so many gorgeous versions. And then there's a headband pattern as well. I'm really loving headbands at the moment. I'm really loving using the free tutorial by Juliet Uzo. Um, there's a video to follow over on YouTube. I'll link it down below. Really great um, sort of scrap busting project. And then there's the spotlight on Jen Rich, who has released this sewing book recently, Stitch. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading all about that and also Jen. And then there's Haley's Little Links. So we've got a book, uh, we've got something to watch. Um, Haley does amazing videos over on her YouTube. Quite often she's got some sew alongs or she's got ideas for using like fat quarters or meters of fabrics. Um, so it's always worth subscribing to her channel because you get lots and lots of ideas of what to turn the fat quarters and also the fabric into. And then there's also a recipe. So it's for a potato pizza, which sounds really yummy. Um, and then there's always information about what's in the box and then um, a place for you to record what you're going to make. So in the classic box this month, we've got two and a half metres of viscose fabric, four desert fat quarters, 100 metres of Gutterman thread, um, some specky seamstress bias binding, which is gorgeous, a magazine, and then some Maoam joysticks uh, sweeties, which are my, one of my favourite type of sweeties. So I'll show you the fat quarters first. They're absolutely beautiful. I might be turning some of these into some more headbands. Uh, so there's that one, which is like a cream background. There's a black background with palm trees and camels. Uh, there's a white background with palm trees. And then there's like a dusty sort of beige colour with palm trees and camels. Got black, whoops, got black Gutterman thread. The bias binding by Specky Seamstress is really fun. It's got pyramids all over it and it says time to explore. Then we've got some needles that have been included as well. And then the sweet treat, 
my favourite. I'm going to hide that from Ruby and Lola and I'm going to get to enjoy that. And then onto this gorgeous fabric. I just absolutely love it and I know exactly what I'm going to turn it into. Um, so I'll hold it up for you so you can see what it looks like. But it's beautiful. It's this like Aztec patterned viscose fabric. It looks like, um, you know, like magic carpets or the carpets that you get um, like in markets. I just think it's absolutely beautiful it's got a gorgeous amount of movement it feels really lovely and lightweight and the pattern that i'm going to turn this into is the tilly and the buttons sd co-ord set which is the new release from tilly and the buttons i have got the pattern here actually and it is what i'm wearing currently but i'm going to turn it into the cropped trousers and the waist that's the cropped top so there's cropped trousers there's a cropped top but then there's also a waist length top, which you can tuck into trousers. You can sew up full length trousers and then you can also sew up the shorts, which is what I have sewn up. So I've sewn up the longer length top and the shorts. And I really want to sew up the cropped trousers with the waist length top so that I can tuck it in um, like the model is wearing here. Um, I've sewn this up already. I've sewn up a waist length top. With some crop trousers i've sewn up two pairs of shorts and i've sewn up this top to go with some matching shorts um and then the denim shorts that i've got on today and then i've also sewn it in this amazing like ice cream hot pink uh fabric that i've had in my stash for ages as well i think this is going to be the perfect so sort of co set to wear to work when the weather is really warm um i was saying in my sunday sewing catch up at the weekend that um, I love wearing dresses, but they're not always practical when I'm at work because I spend a lot of time on the floor. Um, I also spend a lot of time in the garden and I worry that a gust of wind is going to come along and flash my pants. I also worry that I'm going to accidentally flash my knickers when I'm in the classroom as well, when I'm getting off the floor or getting down on the floor. Quite often children will just step on my skirt um, or I'll get stuck on something. Um, and my job's quite busy, so sometimes I, I don't want to worry about accidentally flashing myself. So I think this is going to be the perfect summer co set. Um, it comes in sizes UK 6 to 34. And in terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend medium to lightweight woven fabrics like a linen, chambray, viscose, tensile. Um, this is like a crinkle seersucker, I think. I've also sewn it in a cotton lawn and a brushed cotton and also a denim fabric and it works really nicely. So I think this fabric is going to make a really cute little co set. So I'm looking forward to turning it into that. Um, I also thought about maybe just some um, like palazzo style trousers. Um, it would work really nicely for their Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress and um, maybe some collots. Um, I think there's so many things that you could turn this into. The rear dress by Tammy Handmade would work really nicely. Um, lots and lots of ideas, but I know exactly what I'm going to turn it into and I can't wait. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what was in this month's um, classic box. If you are interested in subscribing to the classic box, there's a link down below that you can follow to get 10% off your first box. Um, there's a code that you need to put in, which is Liz10. Um, I have subscribed for many, many years now and I absolutely love getting them. I love that element of surprise. I love being pushed out of my comfort zone as well with fabrics sometimes that I wouldn't necessarily choose. And I love this fabric, but it isn't something that I would choose. Um, but I can't wait to turn it into something to wear and I think it's going to be um, really gorgeous. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.